With the funds donated by the Blount County Education Foundation, Eagleton Middle School was able to purchase 30 trade books, Wonder, which is on the bestsellers list, to share with our students with the implementation of Common Core. The seventh grade language arts teacher selected the book because of uh, the connection the students can make to the character in the book. We're also using cross-curricular activities such as this, for example, um, is a science article about the disability that the main character had. With further funds from the Blount County Education Foundation, schools such as Eagleton and other schools in Blount County will be able to purchase books such as Wonder, further technology, or textbooks to help support the implementation of Common Core to make our students ready for 21st century education and be college and career ready once they graduate Blount County Schools. So Ms. Burko came to me and just was real emphatic that we had to have this book. Um, they had already planned it out, they were going to work cross-curricular with all the, the subject areas in seventh grade. and. Um, so I said, okay, we'll get the book. I'll look for it. We'll get the book. Well, when I started looking for the book, I said, ooh, I don't know that we can afford that book <laughs> for every child. Um, so we started brainstorming some ways, and we made it happen through BCF grant money. Um, had it not been for that, we wouldn't have been able to do it. And, and I'm so thrilled we did now because they're in the middle of all of this um, lesson, and you hear the chatter all over the school. I haven't even read the book yet. Um, but the kids love it, the teachers love it, the teaching assistants love it. I mean, it's just the chatter of seventh grade, what we're doing with this book. Um, and uh, it, it's awesome. I mean, they're, they're learning all kinds of lessons, uh, academic and non-academic. We now, at the school level, because county budgets, federal budgets, state budgets are so tight, we have to provide money ourselves to have different things, um, even down to copy paper. Um, which we try to do without. Uh, we uh, try to do without textbooks. We have other resources. We use um, technology as much as much we can, pulling things off internet. Um, but we don't even have the greatest technology. With with extra funding that we find ourselves and that BCF has been so gracious um, to always give, we count on that. Um, when we're thinking of things that we need, not just want, but need, um, to provide for our kids. Um, we, we look at that money. We look at any money that we can find. And, um, you know, our kids today, especially at my school here, um, we provide them so much more than just academics. Um, so many of our kids um, don't really have what they need at home with parents, with um, just adult influence and um, they're not exposed to a lot so our goal is to make them worldly we want to send them on to high school um, as worldly good well-formed students and people and so when we look at what we need for our kids we look so much deeper than just academic but along with that need there's the financial need and if we don't have good folks like BCEF providing us with those funds um, we, we can't do it we just can't do it without them and um, with extra money <laughs> we could do so much just um, it's incredible where we could take our kids <laughs>